I had always thought of the publishing industry as being bigger than life. It was like the recording industry and the movie industry. But when I finally came face to face and read a publishing contract, I said to the gentleman that showed it to me, I said, why would anybody sign it? And he said, very simply, because they have no choice. And at that moment, I found a need. So in 1994, I trademarked a new era in publishing. I was going to publish for authors, allow them to retain the rights, and allow them to make money. Everybody told me that my business model could not work, quite simply because that's not how it's done. And here we are, 25 years later, you know, who's had the last laugh? If you take publishing and you take Texas and you put them together, you get Millie. We're risk takers, we are out of the box thinkers, we are determined, we are not easily dissuaded. And look at what's going on in Texas as far as a business climate. You put all of those people with those attributes in one state, and of course you, you have to have success, you're going to have success. I just hire people who are self-motivated and who have high standards for themselves. I come to the office seven days a week with a passion and a dedication and a love for what I'm doing that I'm very fortunate to have. A lot of people think I work too much and they, they don't understand the old saying that if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. The story ends when every author who has a valid and marketable story or concept can reach market. She's democratizing publishing. As a leader in, in an organization, she has a heart that is as big as the size of the state of Texas. I know I should stop and smell the roses, but I, um, I'm just too busy gardening. <laughs>